India has so much to offer from its, its history, its culture. Um, I always try to explain to my friends what India is like back home. And I always say like, whatever you can think of, India is more of that. And like the spices are spicier, the colors are more colorful, the warm people are warmer. It's just so much uh, more of everything. And that definitely permeates AES. AES is a very wholesome, happy space. AES is really a unique community. It's a beautiful campus. It's just a lovely campus. We provide opportunities for students to be successful in a variety of ways. On this campus, you're seeing students from literally all over the world, okay? They're, despite the name, the American Embassy School, it's not all American students. We're well over 60 different nationalities represented at the school at any one time. So that diversity is um, enchanting. AES has helped me grow as a person and the person that I am now is a direct result of you know living those core values of you know being in a diverse community being in a community where we value one another and every person has you know intrinsic value I think um, firstly, I think when, as soon as you come through the gate, the friendly atmosphere, um, the admissions process was very smooth and very well managed. Um, and just actually seeing the happy faces of the children in the school, you want your children to be somewhere where they're happy and nurtured. And AES really had that feel for us. The, the elementary school is a, a rich thinking culture and teachers seek out other teachers to be thinking partners through collaboration. And we know that this thinking um, only helps our students to be deep thinkers as well in their classrooms. We offer an American-based curriculum that's, that's broad-based, but it encompasses the whole child. We're looking at the, the social, physical, and emotional health of our students, as well as their academic excellence. The first thing we look for in any adult working in the school is do you love children? Then once you have that down, we, we look for teachers who themselves are learners. Teachers who themselves have this thirst for knowledge because that, kids see that. How do you teach persistence? How do you teach creativity? How do you teach resilience and that can only happen if kids are given a chance. <music>